We're here with Randy Evans. He's partner and executive chef at the New Haven restaurant that's actually opening tonight, December 15th, 2009. Mark your calendar. Mark your calendar. So, Randy, uh, you had mock service on Friday and Saturday nights. How did it go? It went well. Uh, Friday night was the typical hiccups and headaches and trying to figure out how everyone works together. And and we've got cooks I've never cooked together before. And, and even uh, crazier is I, I went to think back, the last time I've served a meal out of, out of a professional kitchen was December the 11th of 2000, um, September the 11th of 2008, two days before the hurricane. So that, and that was when you were the exec executive chef at Brennan's yes. in Houston, and the hurricane hit, because yeah, we were all preparing for the hurricane, exactly. so obviously September 11th people were hunkering down for the hurricane to come, and then on September 13th, what happened? Well, uh, Brennan's uh, was struck with a fire and, and a few injuries as well, and uh, so it burned and was shut down and still is currently shut down uh, for remodeling. Mm -hmm. And that was all because of the hurricane, right? Yeah. Yeah, terrible. But uh, they're rebuilding and, you know, we uh, look forward to their opening. But in the meantime, that was uh, September 13th, 2008, this is December 15th, 2009. Uh, you have created this whole new restaurant called Haven with your partners Debbie and Ray Wheeler. And the address is 2502 Algerian Way. And uh, what was this space before? It was actually uh, dirt. We, we, start, <laughs> we started with uh, bare land and uh, we were lucky enough to find the spot. It's uh, kind of a haven on its own. It's a little off the side road on a uh, Algerian way right off of Kirby and 59, about a quarter block in on the northeast side. And it's a beautiful tree-lined street with some great views on the outside for patio dining. And uh, when I first saw it, I, I wasn't too sure about the location, but the more I looked at it, the more we thought about it, we thought this was going to be a perfect spot. You know, I do think this is a haven-like atmosphere because you are right off of 59. And who would know that a block away was, you know, the hubbub of thousands of cars whizzing by. Yeah, it doesn't feel like you're in this big world. Not at all. It's, this is a really cool spot. So congratulations on finding this. Oh, thanks. And how much fun, I put in quotes, was it to build a restaurant from the ground up? Well, uh, it certainly started off as a ton of fun because it was all your ideas that you ever had that, that you want to do with the restaurant one day. And, and so these dreams you've had, these dreams when you started in culinary school, what the what restaurant would look like, actually start to be put together into a blueprint. And, and you're like, hey, I really want to have you know, X, Y, Z. And, and you get to put these things in place. And uh, then, then you get into the, the, the craziness of the build and, and, and the, the drudgery of the day-to-day -day construction process. And you would see one day where it looked like a million things had been done and you had all this progress and you would go a week or two and it felt like the same thing was being done that day that was done the day before and mm. the day before. But, but it, was be, it was moving along at a steady click and, and, mm. and that's what mattered most is that it was built well and, and, and built with a, a thought process as opposed to just throwing up something that you see sometimes in track homes. Right, and you were um, trying to be as green as possible, correct? We were. We, uh, I think our builder, you know, he, Jim Hurd with Collaborative Projects actually came to us with the idea of a, a, a green building mm -hmm. and, and using some of those building techniques. He had done that with a uh, house in, in Wimberley under the Austin Green Building Initiative. And so he had experience, he understood what green meant as opposed to just the green uh, that, that you usually hear. Right. He, he understands kind of the real, the real issues and uh, so far he's done a really good job. We've, uh, it's, I, a lot of times the AC or the heating has not even come on. It's, it just stays temperate and it's really yeah. nice. Yeah, I like that because I was here on Friday night for one of the mock services and um, I think we will always remember fondly that the fire alarm works. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, and what was even funnier is that the uh, 
the, the, no one even moved. No one flinched to even flinch. They just looked up, yeah. heard the smoke alarm, and just kept eating. So I thought that was uh, I know. interesting. I don't know if that's a scary <laughs> comment or if it's a really good comment about your food. Yeah, right? <laughs> it's like, oh, we'll just wait. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, and that, that's actually one of the big reasons was because uh, the AC and the heat hadn't been on the entire night. Right. And the smoke from the kitchen had actually gotten into the air ducts with mm -hmm. the smoke alarms. Mm -hmm. So that's all been figured out. They increased the uh, flow and the uh, hoods on the kitchen and all's well. But actually, it was, it was a good thing, I think, that they went off on your mock that, service That's why you have night. a mock service, right? Exactly. Make your mistake when people are eating for free and, and are willing to kind of accept problems right. and, and issue uh, ideas of how to fix things. Right, and mock service, to explain to our viewers, is uh, where a restaurant that is just opening invites friends and family. Well, you, you explain it, it's it. It's a dress rehearsal. Yeah, there it's you go. It's basically a dress rehearsal. Yeah. So everyone, we're, we're acting as though we're serving dinner to uh, to paying guests, mm -hmm. and but they're invited on the house to come in and, and uh, then critique us. Uh, we ask for some uh, real, uh, real cr uh, critical uh, comments, mm -hmm. so we know what we need to change. Whether it's you know the lighting's poor or. We need X, Y, Z in the bathrooms, yeah. or the drinks are weak, right. uh, the food wasn't hot, et cetera, et cetera. So that way we can make these changes and have a better idea of what the diner actually feels. Because no matter how many times you think you know what's going on in the, in the restaurant, in the kitchen, right. you don't know until someone's actually sat down and had, and had supper. Yeah, and it's just easier to do it with friends and family, I think, the first time. Yeah, I think people are a little more forgiving when you know them. Yeah, but they also want you to do be your best. Exactly. So we are going to uh, tell you what we think so that you can be at your best. Exactly. Right? So you do need true, honest feedback. Right. You, know, you don't need a lot of people blowing hot air. You know, you need people that really want to be right. honest and, and care about the restaurant's well-being. Exactly. And, it comes with love. Exactly. Like, we want you to be the best you can be. <laughs> exactly. So, so that's what Friends and Family Mock Service is all about. Okay, well, we're going to uh, take a break, and then we'll come right back with Chef Randy Evans at Haven.